Hi everybody, this is Andrew here. Um, this is Mag. Mag's a new PT here, so you'll be seeing her around. Today we're just going to talk quickly about a quick TMJ screen. TMJ meaning your jaw. A lot of people have pain or problems with their jaw and they might not even really know it. So this is one way that you can use to screen yourself or screen your family member or ask a, a dentist uh, to check you out. Um, and then we see TMJ problems in this clinic. We see um, quite a few of them so we can help people who have painful clicking or difficulty chewing or difficulty opening their mouth all the way um, with those problems. So a quick screen that we, we can be using here. First one is to take, I'm going to do it on Meg here, take your hand and just go to the bottom of your skull and just feel around. What does it feel like? Is it tender? You can do that to yourself. Um, is there, is there, are there other tight or tonic muscles behind the base of the skull there? And the second one is checking out your neck range of motion. So if I ask Meg to turn her head all the way to the right, she should be able to turn and face the camera. She's got better range of motion than I do. And the same thing going all the way to the left. And then going back like this, and then going back toward the, toward the ceiling. Now, she moves pretty well. So if she were to be limited, uh, as some people might be, it might look like this. Go ahead and I, and she might get stuck there. Okay, and the forehead would probably not be um, uh, parallel with the ceiling as it was in her case. So another indication of jaw problems is a loss of neck range of motion. Um, lastly, when it comes to the opening and closing the jaw, if you open the jaw all the way and you hear clicking, uh, that's, that's, that's one indication that there might be a problem. Um, or if there's limited opening, really what we would hope is that we can put three fingers in your open mouth Okay, so if you can't do that, there's some sort of limitation. And then if you want to come right over here, Rich, we'll look at maybe Meg can demonstrate what a deviation might look like. So if we open up all the way and there's a deviation to one side or the other side as she opens, kind of like an S or a C curve, those are things you can look for. Obviously, if you're having difficulty with, with chewing or opening or talking, uh, that's a big problem. So feel free to, feel, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we'll see you soon.